Hi, this is um, Intervention Activity 3.4, Online Calculator Usage. I'm going to use the Outer Vision Calculator on all these this year um, because it seems to be the more accurate of the ones that we've taken a look at. So, just so we're clear, what the Online Power, power Calculator does, it gives us our calculator, our load wattage. I have that here on here. Once you have the load wattage, the rest of the answers to the questions are based on that round up to the next 50, so minimum would be 350, recommended would be 400. Don't look at this because it says recommended 351, which does not exist. So they're really saying the same thing. The only way you could get to a 351 would be to buy a 400, but you're just gonna be looking at the load wattage. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the power calculator. We're gonna use the exact same PC we did in the last lesson. I'm gonna to go to basic mode, which is how I ask you guys to do it most of the time, that you will only see one in expert mode uh, at any time. So let's go through this. So the first thing I said, we always just leave the motherboard on desktop. CPU is easy. All I have to do is start to type. So if I start to type, and I'm getting that right off here, it's the Intel Core i3 10th generation 10, and you can see right there it is, and it automatically changes it to one. What kind of memory? We just looked this one up, um, but let's go down here as, as well to look it up again. It is one eight gig stick of DDR4, and it asks us that. So eight gig DDR4 module, and there's only one. And then we're gonna continue on down. The video card, if we remember, this one has an integrated graphics card. So there's no video card for me to do on this one. Storage is a solid state drive. So I've got one solid state drive right there, SATA SSD. You can also have M.2 drives, and those can be NVMe or SATA, but we've been dealing mainly with SATA drives and NVMe drives. This is a SATA SSD, no optical drives. And I will tell you in the question what the utilization time is. If I don't, you leave it at default. Okay, so we leave it at default there. Um, on all these things, utilization time and gaming, I will tell you, and this doesn't do gaming, it's not a gaming PC, in the question it'll say, ah, I'm going to leave it on 24-7 and game on, um, uh, but that's not the case with this because it's not a gaming PC, so we're going to leave it like it's a business PC at 8 hours a day. And then I hit calculate. This comes up with 128, so my calculated is 128. My minimum is 150 because I wouldn't find a 128 power supply. Uh, and then my recommended would be 200. So you see this came in much, well, 50 lower than it did when we did the other calculation. If you remember back to IA 3.3, these are more exact on exact items it knows what the power draw of this processor is. It knows what the power draw of a given video card is. So it's going to get, in general, almost always, if not always, lower numbers. Let's go and look at the gaming PC that we did just a minute ago in IA 3.3, and we'll do the same one on this one. Okay, this one we just did just a second ago. Let's take a look and see... Oh, I guess just a second ago in my time, you may not have been a second ago, but let's go through here with this one. So this is a i3 10th Gen 1015F. So we're going to type that in there for the CPU. And if you didn't know that was the CPU, you could also go down here under CPU. Where it says, what is the CPU? The i3 10105 10105i3-10105. It's not showing up on here. Look at that. We're going to have to go with the 100. Hmm. It's unfortunate, isn't it? I hate to be off on that, but we're going to go with that one. Um, memory on this one, we had uh, one stick of 8 gig, which, by the way, we're going to learn is way too little for our not way, but it's too little for a gaming system. We should have 16 gig of RAM in a gaming system. Um, our video card is the GeForce GTX 
and it says the brand so I'm going to do Nvidia and then it's a GeForce GTX 1650 GeForce GTX see if I can find it down here I've gone too far 16 nope that's not it yet oh up here there we go 1650 straight right there we go nvidia geforce gtx 50 and our um hard drive was a solid state drive no optical drive and if you remember from us doing our walk around on this one it also had four fans I don't think this one asks about that. Monitor, no. But this, because it's a gaming one, we would say 24-7 and game on to see what that made a difference on. I will tell you that in expert mode, it asks you about fans. Let's go and look at this one and then add those fans. So right now, um, we just got 213 calculated, which is way underneath of what we had before. I'm going to write 213 down. And then I'm going to go and take a look at it with the expert mode and see what we come up with there. 1010 still doesn't have the F. Don't like that. Memory, uh, 8 gig stick of DDR4. Did I put a 1 in there on the other one? I don't know if I did. Video card NVIDIA, 1650. Let's see if we can find it faster this time. Nope, I'm still oh, there. We go 1650. They got one of those, let you put in a second one. Storage is one, say to solid state drive, nothing, 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 nothing. One keyboard and mouse. Now we're going to go over here. USB LED controllers. Nope, we do have four. And by the way, I know there's a hundred, those are 120, those are standard size. 120 millimeter is the standard. These other sizes are not standard sized. No liquid cooling, no pump. Um, again, we're going to say always on and game on since we're building a gaming PC. Let's see what difference this comes up with our fans. 226, not a lot. Uh, actually, came up with exactly what we would have expected, right? It came up with 213 without the fans, 226 with the fans. It added 13 watts for the fans, and we've been adding 12, so it's pretty darn close. So that's our load wattage. Our load is our calculated, so we would say minimum of 250, recommended of 400. It's gone in the expert mode, and it says, hey, we think you should get a 500. Um, oh, this is a, a, a UPS, a 500 volt of UPS. Ah, disregard that. Um, so you can see it's still saying 300 because there's no such thing as a 276. If you round it up, it'd be 300, the same thing that we did. And we know this has got a 600 watt power supply. So there's some things on here that don't use as much power. Um, I will say I'm curious what the wattage difference would be if it actually had ours on there. Anyway, you get the idea. We have now done um, two different online power calculators, and you're going to do this two different PCs telling me what the load calculated is. It's the same thing. Then the minimum, which is again rounded up to the next 50, and then the recommended, which is another 50 more. And that's it for our review of using the online calculator.